In this tutorial I'm going to be covering how to create floating health bars. Now I've been trying to figure this out for a while now and I've been running into a couple of issues with it but right now it seems to be working perfectly fine. It took me a while to uh, get everything working correctly. I had a couple minor issues but now I can get my enemies to spawn with uh, health bars and each one acts in its own way. So the first thing you're going to want to do is um, just go down here. You want to create a bar like we did for um, the other tutorials when we made health bars and mana bars and all that stuff. You want to create um, something like that. After you have that, you want to go up and create. You want to be clicking on the texture you want to use and you want to go to GUI texture and it'll place it into the scene. Now from there you want to drag it onto the character you're going to, going to be using. So I'm using Go6 and I named my enemy bar. And then um, I created a new script for hovering texture. Now the only thing that's different about this compared to the other one, how we we're using hovering text, is that I changed the component from GUI text to GUI texture. So if you go and you look through um, my previous tutorial scripts, you'll be able to find the hovering text script and you can just take that and modify that little box there. And that's all you need to change for that. And you can go and toss it onto the text. And I believe, yep, you want to drag your, your target to there. And um, set this to main camera. If it's not, it's probably already going to be selecting it, even if you don't use that. And yeah, now I'm going to go into my AI minions code. And this is where I'm going to be create or um, accessing the health bar variables. So same thing from my previous tutorials. We did minion current HP, minion max HP, and I'm making these both 100. Before I accidentally had this set to zero, so I was wondering why it wasn't showing up uh, in game, but I changed it to 100 and they show up perfectly fine now. So yeah, um, and then you're going to need a minion HP bar or whatever your HP bar is for your GUI texture. So pretty much this bar right here will get dragged onto this location right there. Now we can check out some of the code. So it's pretty much the same calculation we used before. Percent of HP, minion cur HP, minion max HP. So pretty much this is just the exact same code from my other tutorial on how to create uh, HP bars. And um, just getting them to display and getting them to change the percentage as uh, the cur HP value goes down. And the only new code we're going to be using is this code right here. Now this code will take our mini HP bar right here. So we plugged in this HP bar to there. And so that links up. And so it's a GUI texture. And pixel inset is where you can adjust it in the editor um, for the width and height of how you want it to look. So we're going to be changing the width because we want to adjust it in game to be either a set length or um, be completely gone after the enemy is dead so it'll change and so that's pretty much all this code does that's the only piece of code you really need for this project besides the variables and then you just want some way to adjust the enemy's health so for my um, AI minions code if they collide with the player's fire attack. Instead of destroying the object, I'm going to um, subtract 50 HP from the minion. And now one other thing that I want to talk to you guys about when you're dealing with prefabs and such, you don't want to use static variables in here or else it's going to screw up everything. I made that mistake of keeping these variables static which are is then applied to every character so 
every single one of my enemies, when I killed one, it would kill the, all the other ones, even if I didn't hit them with my fireball attack. So, just leave everything um, so it's not static, unless you want to do something like that, where you want to affect all the enemies. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now that you have everything set up, you just want to go to your prefabs, create a new prefab, and throw it in there. So, um, so I'm using just, yeah, the basic code for spawning, so I'm spawning an enemy, and it's going to be spawning all this stuff in it. So, we can go in here and see how the health bars look, and how you can affect them. So you see the health bars float. And there is a way to adjust it so the health bars are like above the enemies and such. But yeah, we can go in here and we can fire at an enemy and you see that the health bar went down by two. And then they die. But I, the animations are kind of screwed up so they don't uh, play through the death animation. They switch over to the other animation. But you can see that the health bar is affected and it disappears when they die. So that is a pretty basic way of setting up an HP or floating uh, health bar. So it's a little bit different from the regular health bar we made because it follows uh, the enemies around. So you see in a lot of uh, like MMORPGs a lot of the enemies have floating health bars if you want to activate it and such. But yeah that's pretty much a pretty simple way of setting all that up through code and through GUI textures.